competition to create a support group for teenagers who are afraid or ashamed to reach out for help. And I encourage my peers to take charge of their feelings and their thoughts and let go of the things that not spark positivity. Our family, friends, parents will always be willing ears because I believe that no one should be alone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations for being a and now we move on to our next candidate. Let's call in candidate number 29, Joanna Kaushnick. The beautiful Joanna is half German and half Filipino, but by heart and spirit, she is 100% Ilonga. And hi, Joanna. Please say hi, Joanna, to all your fellow Ilongas. Hi, everyone out there. Thank you so much for always having my back in everything that I do. Thank you so much. Definitely a lot of support for Joanna, and now we move on to our judges. Hi, here's your question. One of the Disney princesses is Princess Aurora, also known as Sleeping Beauty. Princess Aurora had three fairy godmothers who brought her gifts on her birthday. If you have your own fairy godmother who can give you one gift only, which would you choose? Gift of intellect? Gift of kindness? Her gift of courage and pride. Yes. If you, if you have your own fairy godmother who can give you one gift only, which would you choose? Gift of intellect, gift of kindness, or gift of courage and pride? I think it takes a lot to be brave, so I would choose to have courage. We all have our fears in life that stop us from doing what we really want to do. So what I want to have is a gift of courage, not only for myself, but to inspire others to have that courage to do all the things they dream of doing. Thank you. Thank you so much, Joanna. You're definitely very brave for joining this people in 2019. And now we move on to our next candidate, candidate number 10, Kyla Christian E. Sanchez. Hi, Kyla. Since it says here that you are, you've been trained to face so many big challenges, what do you think has been the biggest challenge thus far? The biggest challenge that I have ever faced is when I joined my first national pageant, and then I was discriminated by my age. I was 16 back then, and knowing that every people that doesn't believe in me really plays something inside my heart. Knowing that I did everything that I can to prove myself, but there is still some people out there who doesn't even know what I've been through. And right now, I am so proud to say that being able to be part of this pageant, a youth 16, 14 to 18 years old young women are fighting for the title of Miss Teen Philippines. And for that very reason, there is always youth empowerment in every way that we have. Thank you so much, Kyla. You are definitely great. Congratulations for making it to be one of the semi finalists. Let's now go on to our judges who are a very good Yes, I am enjoying, sir. If you would merge or you would have a round tonight, what would what projects would you recommend to the Department of Education to lessen or at least eliminate bullying in schools? Thank you so much. Bullying is not just rampant here in the Philippines, but all over the world. But if ever I can recommend something in the Department of Education here in the Philippines, the first thing that I would say is that we need to have a certain subject that teaches our young individual, those children, on how to express themselves, on how to prove and to fight for their rights as a children, as a youth of today. Because we have the power. We have something that we should tell everyone. We have the power of change, not just because we are young, but because we are ourselves. And if ever we have that certain subject, we can help those people who are bullied to stand for their right, to stand for what they believe 
for because our young children can make a change and I hope that can make a change in our lives. Thank you. Thank you so much for the powerful message. We now move on to our last semi-finalist for this portion. Much of a country that we need today in order for us 